Welcome to how to become OP as Prophet starting class in first tower, you prophetic bastards. This is my way of doing this, which isn't necessarily best one, but it doesn't use exploits or anything that will be patched soon, rendering parts of the video useless. There are many ways to go about this, with mine being one of them that works 100%. Also, progression in the video doesn't have to be done in order. You have absolute freedom in what order these tasks are going to be completed. Starting item can be Ember Medallion that is going to be bought anyway in the first tower. Lands between rune to boost character instantly with 3000 runes, which is option I went with in the video, or Golden Seed to increase number of flasks. Stone Sword Key is also a good option. None of them are wrong choices, so don't stress about it. Immediately go to Church of Felech, grab Smithing Stone and unlock Blacksmithing. Then proceed forward to unlock Torrent. Have you heard? They serve it you. I can play turning to aid you. You need o to the foot. Then it summon me. Ah, I bequeath. Use it will summon torrent. Treat him with. Proceed through the gates, avoiding enemies on the way. Pick up golden seed from the tree and proceed to another grace. From here we make our way to night on the horse that drops golden vow ash of war. This Ash of War boosts attack power and defense, while also enabling sacred options for weapons, which means weapon can scale off of faith. Some enemies are highly resistant to holy damage though, so against them we have far attack and the option to revert back to standard Golden Vow, that removes holy damage from the weapon. Now we need to get our prophetic cars to Limgrave East. Pick up two easy crystal tears, one especially useful to increase stamina for a short time. From that point move south to Fort Hate. No need to enter it, only thing we need is golden seed in front of the castle. Couple more easy levels can be gained while here by going to graveyard and picking up golden runes.
Next is northern stop in Limgrave East area called Third Church of Marika, where Flask of Physic, Crimson Tear and Sacred Tear are picked up. Flask of Physic is an important item that allows mixing of tears for various temporary effects. Sacred Tear increases amount of HP and FP restored from flasks. Time to go south to Weeping Peninsula. Cross the bridge, pick up three smithing stones and stone sword key on the way. Go to this small village to get another sacred tier, fantastic spell flame of frenzy and optional shield. Next order of business is Incantation Lightning Strike. We won't be able to use it until mid game because it has high fate requirement, but no reason not to pick it up now. This area that we jumped down to has great crystal tier called Fate Note that increases fate temporarily when mixed in Wondrous Flask of Physic. From that point continue directly to another church with Sacred Tear. And then another church with another sacred tier. Such easy but invaluable pickups. For now we are done with Whipping Peninsula. Time to get to Kaelid region that is east of Limgrave East to get Flame Grant Me Strength spell that can be found at Fort Gale. To get to Kaelid region and avoid quite easy boss fight at Summonwater Village, teleport back to 3rd Church of Marika and go northeast. Now it is time to farm until you're about level 25 or so. Farming can be done in many ways. I do it by going to Bestial Sanctum from 3rd Church of Monica and then slaying little vulgar enemies.
By using Grace at Bestial Sanctum, a round table hold is unlocked, where Golden Vow Asha 4 can be slotted to short spear that we have. Get back to Bestial Sanctum and make your way to next Grace site. From there you farm vulgar enemies until about level 25 and additional 10k runes to purchase full scale set and crimson ember medallion if you haven't started the game with it. Shouldn't take more than 10 minutes or so because you can get 2 to 4k runes a minute with this method at low levels. Set and medallion can be bought from Weeping Peninsula Merchant. Killing these little enemies near Sanctum can be done easily through backstabs and afterwards attack spams. They have weak poise which means permanent stagger can be achieved. Do it like I am in the video. Level up in between rounds to make further farming easier and not to lose runes because little bastards hit hard. Goal is to have similar attributes as mine. Time to go to Limgrave Tunnels and get all 8 smithing stones. With 3 picked up on the bridge and 1 at the start in Church of Felech, that totals to 12, which is enough to upgrade Finger Seal and Spear to plus 2. Spear is optional weapon, but I quite like how it works with Prophet, so decided to stick with it. Feel free to use any weapon that can be wielded with attributes we have. Won't show all of Limgrave tunnels, just this well hidden smithing stone behind the shack at lowest floor. No need to kill enemies, hit them so they move away from smithing stone node, loot it and proceed onward. There are floors in between floors, so jump out of the elevator while it's moving to reach them. Get to smith to level seal and weapon to plus 2 and now you are ready for first proper boss. I would advise picking up Halic Drake Talisman that reduces holy damage as it helps with first boss, link to that item is in the description. Prophet starts with very useful spell Catch Flame that can be used for good damage and stagger after which player is free to attack with the main hand weapon. 
catch flame can be also spammed in quick succession. Flame of Frenzy can do nasty damage but takes a while to charge. It can be used effectively against first boss after he has done his long combos. Before nastier fights use Flame Grant Me Strength spell, Golden Vow, Ash of War and Physic Flask that has Fate Not Tear in it mixed with whatever else you like. Anyway, that would be all. Thanks for watching and check out the description for links to Patreon and Subscribestar if you want to help the channel further. Stay tuned for more guides.